This scenario will demonstrate several types of communication. Firstly, demonstrating verbal two-way communication between Rishi and Shiraz initially, which is fairly informal in their office. Rishi is sitting in the office with Shiraz and Selina. Well, Julia's asked me to prepare this month's newsletter with your guidance, and she suggested that I discuss it with you first to establish the purpose of communication, the audience, and the intended outcomes. Okay, well, we try to improve communication with the Western Council so that uh, every department knows what is happening in other areas of the organization. Julia believes this is very motivating for staff as it enables them to share in the success of departments and gain a feeling of belonging. Staff can feel very isolated within their individual teams. So we ask every department whether they have any news. Then we pick the most interesting and relevant stories and ask the marketing to put together a newsletter and circulate it in both a printed and electronic version. The printed version is for staff rooms and communal areas. Thanks, Shiraz. That's answer my questions about the purpose, audience and intended outcomes of the newsletter communications. Oh, and I better have your contact list so I can email the heads of departments uh, for good news stories. You might find that a phone call is a more effective form of communication in this matter, as it's more personal. You can always follow up with an email. OK, I'll give them a week's deadline to get back to me, and then we can have a team meeting the following week to discuss which stories to put forward to the newsletter. OK. Two weeks later, Rishi, Sunny, Selina and Shiraz are at a team meeting. This is an example of horizontal communication within a team. The purpose is to choose stories for the newsletter and the audience is made up of the team members. The intended outcome is a draft newsletter. As you probably know, Rishi is organising the staff newsletter this month. So he wanted to run some stories past you to get your opinions on the best ones to put forward for the final version. Yeah, uh, we have quite an interesting choice here. Um, new food recycling bins uh, to be allocated to all households. Uh, we have free dancing lessons. Um, we've got healthy food and juice sampling in the square to promote Health Awareness Week and a charity fundraising fun run event for all staff. The events sound great and there's something that everyone can join in. The staff should find that fun. I'm not sure about recycling bins though. Mm -hmm. Any more stories? I've just seen this month's newsletter. It's really great. You did an excellent job, Rishi. Julia will be really pleased. Thanks, Selena. It's really nice of you. 